Now this is virtual reality. It's very important for you to understand this. When you read a book about Jesus, that's virtual reality. That's artificial reality. It's true. It's very true. The stories about Jesus is true. But it don't mean you know Jesus. It means you read a book about Jesus. That's called artificial reality. It's like watching a movie about a cowboy. That don't mean that you're a cowboy. So this is artificial reality. Now, I had a friend in Houston, and he would he was an engineer, and he would design these uh, platforms out in the Gulf. He made about four to $600 an hour doing that. Very intelligent man. And he'd never see the platform. He'd never touch the platform, but he made it on his computer. He made a platform on a computer, and they'd pay him that much money to make it for him. He'd give them all the dimensions on it, and that is virtual reality. He never touched it. He wasn't there. Like these men that they'll get up from their home, maybe in California, New York, and they'll go down to a base, and they'll operate a drone, and they'll kill a family in Afghanistan, and they never smell the blood, they never see the burial, but they do it. Out of a virtual reality. They don't, they're not there. They don't have hands on. They're thousands of miles away when they fire a hellfire missile. That's the days we're living in today. A digital, a machine-like brain community. Now this was called the Matrix. These people was living in a dream world. And the machines controlled them. And they wanted out of this dream world. They made a movie about it. And they wanted into reality. Sometimes you'll have a dream and it's so real you just know it to come true. It may, it may come true and it may not. A dream is virtual reality. It's not reality until it becomes reality. Sometimes dreams become reality. You want to live in the real world, but understand the spiritual world. Now, meeting God in virtual reality, some preachers, you know, they study history from, from the beginning to the end. They know more about Jesus than anybody, but they don't know Jesus. They got a book relationship with him see you can read a book about europe or south america canada australia and you think you'll know that place you may know it better than the people that lives there but you don't know it you know about it you're living in virtual reality we've got to understand this today because satan is getting more and more complicated as we go through life now these playstation thing these people get on them things and they stay on there for hours, hours. I mean, all night and all day. They just get up and sleep and eat a little bit and get right back on them. And it is virtual reality. They're doing things that's real things, but it's not real. It's play real. It's virtual reality. It's artificial reality. It's stimulation and simulation. And so it's uh, edification and all that, but it's not real. Now, love is an imagination. A lot of people be in love together. This man that's running for president now, this gentleman, Mitt Romney, told his wife, said, Sweetheart, did you ever imagine in your wildest dreams that we'd be running for president? She said, You're not in my wildest dreams. So you can be making love to one person and imagining another person. That's virtual reality. Very few marriages are in reality. Most of them are in virtual reality, imagination. Now get this point of view. This is one of the important things I want to teach you in this lesson so you can understand life. A teacher can take a book and become a teacher. Now think about that. She goes through college. She studied books, 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 books. And she can become a teacher. She don't have to do nothing but just go through books. Now think about that. She just goes through books. Remember this. Make a little mental note of this now. I'm going to show you something. Here's this teacher. And she's a good teacher. She teaches her children about everything she learned in a book. Now, here's a lawyer. How does he become a lawyer? Books, 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 books. And so he studies books, 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 and he becomes a lawyer. And he makes millions of dollars, and he's very famous. You couldn't have a lawyer until you had the law. God gave the law through Moses, and then you started having lawyers. And they was lawyers through the book. Now, get this point of view. They was lawyers through the book. Teachers by the book. Teachers teach by learning a book. And lawyers, lawyer by learning a book. Now, watch this. Preachers and books. This is virtual reality. See, they've never done any of them things. They've never been to all them places. And preachers become preachers by a book. You say, how to book for preaching like a pro. You see, this is what you've got to understand. Bible preachers do not know God. They don't know God. They know about God. But it's real. 
It's virtual reality. They're preaching real history of my family, of my people. And that's virtual reality. It's not real to them. It's hypothetical. Now here's the artificial, hypothetical word of uh, virtual reality. This has tricked people for years. This is a starting point. They'll read this book and they think of it as the Word of God and they get involved in this like Benny Hinn hypnotizing people. They believe this. They believe this is called virtual reality. It's not real. It's real, but it ain't real to you. You read it in a book. You see, I seen Jesus. He spoke my name. He spoke to me many times. And He taught me reality. You will not learn Him in a book. You'll learn about Him in a book. Now, here's where you get the Word of God. Now, pay close attention to this. When you get God's Word from His mouth, that's where God's Word is, in His mouth. And His Word is in His children when He puts the Holy Ghost in them and He can speak through His children. Like I'm teaching you what the Holy Ghost teaches me. I am a temple of God. I am a son of God. That's my family. You, you know about my family of reading the book, but you don't know Jesus. See, the Word of God comes from the mouth. Of God. Now here's artificial reality. It's a book. The angel came down with a book in his hand. And he gave it to John. And when John ate it, what happened? His belly got bitter. Because that's not the way the Word of God works. The Word of God don't come in a book. The Word of God comes from his mouth. The Word of God comes from the Holy Ghost. Remember this now. This is very important. This is not virtual reality when you're talking about God. But when you get a book like he was given John, that's virtual reality. That's artificial and here is the way you really speak for God. When the Holy Ghost fell on the children, they spake as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now get the difference. Preachers that's preaching out of a book, God is not giving them utterance. They're telling the history of my people. And it goes back a long way. They're telling about the Holy Ghost. They're real, like a lawyer's real. Remember that. Like a school teacher's real. A Bible preacher is real. Makes real money. Builds him a big church. You see, you couldn't have a Bible preacher till they got a Bible. See, you couldn't have a Baptist preacher till they got a Bible. You couldn't have the Catholic Church until they got the Bible from Constantine. All right, now here's a ghost story. You can read a book about ghosts and you can... Really believe in ghosts. You know about ghosts. And you say, oh, I read a, a, a book about ghosts. About ghosts. Ghosts are real. Now, this is virtual reality. So you're reading about a ghost. You're reading about something in a book, like a Baptist reading the Bible. But now, when you meet a ghost, and I've met some, when you meet one, it's much, much different than reading a book about them. I'm telling you, children, I've wrestled with them. And they're real. They are real, 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 real ghosts. I've wrestled with ghosts. I've talked to ghosts. Respect them. If one's in a house and you go in there and there's a ghost in there, you respect that just like you would somebody living there. Because that's what they are. They was a familiar spirit. They come out of a body. You say, Is this, was this your home? What's your name? And I don't belong here and you do. you got to work something out with that spirit or you'll have a battle. And I mean a real battle. Ghosts are real. Now get this Jesus book. And this is virtual reality. This is not real. See, you never got a Baptist or Pentecostal or a Catholic till they got a Bible. Because they're not real. They didn't have the Holy Ghost. Constantine had to give the Pope a Bible before he could be a Pope. He had a constitution, see. He's not real. This is virtual reality. When you see a, a Baptist with a book, that Baptist come from a book. He did not come from the Holy Ghost, you see. The first church was with the Holy Ghost. Now, when you meet the real Jesus, Apostle Paul was a... A law preacher. He was a Pharisee. But he's going down the road and he met the real Jesus. And he fell to his knees. He said, Lord, what would you have? When you meet this real Jesus, you'll know the difference between reading the Bible and virtual reality and reality because you will bow your knees. Everybody's going to bow your knees to this man. He's the king of kings and he's real. And I wouldn't lie to you about this. I've met him. He's touched me. Jesus is real.